Welcome to day two. This is my gorgeous client, Scarlett. And today we're going to create my interpretation of uh, a modern mullet as such. We will section a Scarlett's hair from just behind the ear, working back up to that crown. And this top part of the section, we're going to cut reasonably short and reasonably choppy. We're gonna work with a diagonal back section and we're gonna punch that off with the dare chisel. Again, to give me that really scrappy texture. Up as far as the recession, we'll come over the apex of the head, we'll punch through to create a nice short texture through the top. When we've done that, we will work a vertical section right down the back, then working with pie sections around to that ear. We're going to work from that short section into an increased layer and work our way round. There will be a disconnection between the short part of the haircut and this long part of the haircut, but because we're working with a vertical section, as that falls down, it will sit nice and soft. But when we look at that haircut straight on, we'll have a really strong shape happening, really bringing out and emphasizing the cheekbones with this nice, soft, layered look through the back. So we're gonna get Scarlet washed, prepared, we'll section her up and then we'll start a haircut. Okay, so we've prepped Scarlet, quickly taken my section. So we've got this top part working from recessions back to just in front of the crown. We have that front section in front of the ear which we're gonna take nice and short. And then the back, as I say, we're gonna cut with a vertical section and create an increased layer. So we're gonna work from quite tight through the sides, again, leaving that softness under the cheekbone, really drawing that cheekbone out. Cut this nice and short through the temple. Then we'll go up to the top part, we'll connect those two sides, work our way towards that front hairline. Initially, just leaving a bit of extra length, and then I'll come back and then detail that to the length I really want it to be. So the haircut will start through the side, taking a diagonal back section. And then we'll chop that with the chisel away from that cheekbone, and then we'll leave that just on the base of the ear. So a diagonal back section pattern. Take it away from that recession point, leaving that hair underneath that cheekbone. Diagonal section back, elevating the section out, so we're creating a, a shorter internal layer. And then repeat that on the opposite side. So keeping the hair damp, and again, diagonal back section.
and then we'll connect that top. So we've got a section through the sides. We'll connect those through, working across that apex. From the side, I can see my length. Again, forefinger and first finger pinching the hair and then sitting on my third finger and then just pushing that blade through the hair. Connecting the left side and the right side. And then we'll work that section right through to the front hairline. Just going to over direct that front back a little bit to give us some play with that fringe. through the ends of the hair, slightly along to that fringe. Still leaving the fringe fairly long. And when we're dry, we'll decide how much more we take out of that length. Now to connect the back of the haircut. That length that we've taken up over the apex of the hair, we're gonna continue that out as an increased layer We'll pie section that around and we'll travel towards that front hairline. Obviously when we get to this point there will be a disconnection between that short and that long and then we'll deal with that whether we connect or not when we've dried the hair. So we're working straight down with the vertical section straight down the back of the head and then we lift the hair directly out picking up that crown section which is my start point for the layer. And I'm gonna cut an increased layer. Now instead of stabbing the hair through, we're backwards and forwards with the action of the chisel. 45 degree angle, working our way right down to the length. And then we just pie that around to the front. If I were to slide the chisel down the hair shaft, it would just make the hair far too wispy. Connecting to the shore of the haircut. 
disregarding this length through the side. So we are creating quite a distinct disconnection from that back to the sides. But because we have an increased layer in play, when that increased layer collapses and we get that texture, it will blend really well with that length through the sides. And then we do exactly the same on the opposite side. Working from the apex, increased layer down the center, pie sections around to the ear. Again, making sure the hair stays damp. Try and stay as clean with this section as you possibly can. And then when combing that section, always ensure that you're putting your comb straight at the root. Fingers in behind, follow that section out so it's fanned out beautifully. I can see that section perfectly. I can see the guideline. Don't bunch that section up. Roots to ends. See my guideline. So just quickly cross check that section as well. Make sure you're getting even both sides. section and that increased layer. Obviously when I pie section that around to the front, there is a disconnection between these two points. When we dry this hair in, that disconnection will blend really, really well. And the fringe as it's starting to dry, I think we will take shorter. going to help give me some definition with that movement and that curl. I think I'm going to bring out that curl in her hair. And you can see through here as it's starting to dry, the difference in length between that part 
and that part is quite distinct. But when we start to dry this, it would just blend. It would give me that strength. So what we'll do now, yes, we'll apply a, a curl cream to the hair. We're, gonna, we're gonna actually gonna bring out this natural movement. She's got beautiful natural movement in the hair. Once we're dry, we're probably gonna go back to that fringe, maybe take a bit of extra weight out of it. We will dry scarlet with a diffuser. And at home, she can just put some product in and let it air dry. So we're using a curl cream. Make sure you distribute this as evenly as possible through the hair working from those roots out to the end. And ideally comb that through. So you distribute the product of it as evenly as possible. low speed with a high heat. Manipulate your model around so you've got the hair falling away from the head. So I can dry the mid length as well as the roots at the same time. remove the diffuser I want to blast this top to be a little bit straighter pushing that hair from left to right and then right to left out a bit, take some of that beefiness out of it. down the hair shaft, softening and just thinning that fringe out.
massage that curl just to release some of that product. So just grabbing the hair, wrapping it inside itself. Just allows you to massage and release that product. Maintain all that movement. recap on that. We've sectioned a radial section just behind the ear up to the crown. Went from the recession points also back to the crown. Sections that ran diagonally back. We chopped that out releasing the hair around above the cheekbone the recession points. Leaving that length under the cheekbone. Gradually elevating our section to remove that bulk. Both sides we then came into that top part of the section, elevated up from the apex, which then joined both our sides. We worked our way forward. We that did over direct slightly backwards, just to leave me some extra length in the fringe. We then took a vertical section directly down to the nape. We worked from that short part of the section and we created an increased layer. We pie sectioned that around, and let that fall down. And you find that when that hair dries up, because it's a vertical layer, it blends in really well with that really short haircut through the sides. Finish with the curl cream, diffuse dried, and just slowly scrunched in. And we were pulling that front around a bit just to straighten it out a bit. Then we went back to the fringe just to take some of that extra bulk out and detail a little bit more around the face. So, all done with the chisel. Gives me flexibility to break the rules, work outside, normality really. But it allows you to be totally creative. So um, as much as we've created these two massive steps in the side, it still works beautifully. I'm hoping that 